Wernicke Korsakoff syndrome is caused by a deficiency in thiamine, which is also known as vitamin B1. It refers to two different syndromes. Wernicke's, which is an acute condition requiring emergent treatment to prevent serious morbidity, and Korsakoff's, which is a chronic neurological syndrome that comes afterwards. You can remember the classic features of both with my mnemonic snow pack, which I'll explain in a second. Now to understand these features, you'll need to know about its pathophysiology. Thiamine is a cofactor for several enzymes important in energy metabolism pathways like the Krebs cycle. This makes thiamine requirements highly dependent on metabolic rate, with the greatest need during periods of high glucose intake and utilization. Appreciating this fact will help you understand why Wernicke Korsakoff can be precipitated by giving IV glucose in susceptible patients before giving thiamine supplementation. Now, if thiamine requirements are dependent on glucose demand, it also makes sense that neuronal injury occurs in brain regions with high metabolic requirements. Let's also think about one of its biggest risk factors, which is alcohol abuse. Thiamine deficiency in alcohol abusers result from a combination of three issues. Firstly, inadequate dietary intake due to poor eating habits like excessive carbohydrate intake. Secondly, reduced gastrointestinal absorption. Alcohol actually damages the lining of the intestine and it also directly inhibits the transport mechanisms that are responsible for thiamine absorption. Thirdly, decreased hepatic storage, often due to liver cirrhosis. Now let's move on and break down the clinical features of these two syndromes using my mnemonic SNOWPACK. Starting off with Wernicke's, patients can develop a strange stride. Their ataxia is typically demonstrated by a wide-based gait and slow, short-spaced steps. The second feature is nystagmus and other forms of ocular dysfunction. Nystagmus is the most common eye finding and is typically evoked by horizontal gaze to both sides. The final and most common feature in the classic triad of Wernicke's is encephalopathy, which I remember with the word oblivious. The encephalopathy is characterized by profound disorientation, indifference, and inattentiveness. Let's now move on to Korsakoff syndrome, which is a residual condition in patients who have suffered from Wernicke's encephalopathy. P stands for psychosis, because the condition can cause neuropsychological sequelae. A stands for amnesia. This can be both anterograde and retrograde amnesia, which means patients might not be able to remember new information and also might not be able to remember events from before the onset of the condition. Finally, C stands for confabulation. This means patients develop false memories involuntarily. Now to manage Wernicke-Korsakoff syndrome, think about both prevention and treatment. For adults at low risk, you can think about oral thiamine supplementation, typically 100 milligrams daily. For adults that are high risk of thiamine deficiency, like alcohol abusers, you can consider starting IV or IM replacement, typically 300 milligrams for three days, followed by 100 milligrams orally three times daily for one to two weeks. To treat Wernicke's encephalopathy, Expert opinion favors high dose parenteral thiamine therapy. Consider 500 milligrams IV or IM three times daily for three days, followed by ongoing replacement as I mentioned before. Some key takeaways that you should remember is that you must always give thiamine supplementation before giving any glucose load and that thiamine blood concentration doesn't really need to be measured because the result does not dictate whether or not supplementation is required. Let's summarize by reviewing our mnemonic. Snowpack tells us that stride issues, nystagmus, and obliviousness are classic features of Wernicke's, and that psychosis, amnesia, and confabulations are features of Korsakoff syndrome, which occurs later on. Thanks for watching Townsend Teachings. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.